Hello everyone, once again, this is Sir O, your teacher in this session. If you are new to my classroom, I will really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel and please consider clicking that notification bell for you to be updated or notified with my next session. So today, we are going to learn how to find the sum of the terms or the consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence? Yes, because the sum of consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence is what we call as arithmetic series. So in this session, there are actually two formulas that I'm going to present to you for arithmetic series. The first formula is this one. Uh, you will be using this kind of formula if the last term is given in a sequence. So what does it mean? Example, 19, 30, 41, until 118 is a sequence. If you notice, the last term of the sequence is given. So therefore, if this happens, we will be using the first formula. So S sub N is actually the sum of the first N terms of arithmetic sequence. And here is what we call as the number of terms in the sequence. A sub 1 is of course first term and this A sub N is what we call as the last term. So we will be using the second formula if the last term is not even. Again, the last term is not even. Example, we have a sequence 13, 22, 31, 40, and so on and so forth. If you notice, the last term is not given. So we'll make use of this formula. S sub n is, of course, the same, the sum of the first n terms of arithmetic sequence. And here is what we call as the number of terms in the sequence. A sub 1 is, of course, our first term. And N, again, this is the number of terms. And D here is what we call as the common difference. So let us now start with our first example. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the sequence. 6, 12, 18, 24, until 120. Now the very first thing that you're going to do in a problem like this is of course analyze it very carefully and of course find the given. So the given actually here is our first term is 6 of this sequence. The very first term is 6. Next is the last term is 120 and of course the number of terms is 20. Why? Because we are asked the sum of the first 20 terms. So that is why our n is 20. Now since the last term of the sequence is given, so we'll make use of the first formula, which is S sub n is equal to n all over 2 multiplied by open quantity A sub 1 plus A sub n close quantity. Now what we are going to do is we will only replace uh, the variable here or the unknown terms by our given. So replacing them, we have our n is 20 as given. And again, our n is 20 all over 2. Our a sub 1 is 6. And our a sub n is 120. So what we are going to do next is we will divide 20 by 2. And what we are going to do with 6 and 120, we will add them as S sub 20 is equal to 20 divided by 2 is of course 10. 6 plus 120 is 126. Multiplying 10 times 126, that will give us 1260 is our answer. Meaning to say, 1260 is the sum of all the terms from 6 to 120 
in this arithmetic sequence. Question number two. Find the sum of the first 30 terms of the sequence 7, 12, 17, and 22, and so on and so forth. Now again, the very first thing that you are going to do is we will analyze and identify what are the given in the given problem. So the given are, of course, we have a sub 1, our first term is 7. The number of terms is 30. Why? Because in the problem we are asked, the sum of the first 30 terms. So that is why the number of terms is 30. The common difference is 5. The question is how? Why 5? Because 12 minus 7 is 5. Or from the sequence, 17 minus 12 is 5. Now, since in the given problem, the sequence has no last term. So, therefore, we will make use of the second formula. So, what we are going to do is replace all the unknown terms by our given. We have our n is, of course, 30. We just replace n by 30. We will replace a sub 1 by 7. And our n again is 30. And the common difference d is 5. So if you notice, I just replace all the unknown terms in the formula. Now after this, of course, we will go uh, we will evaluate and solve this further. 30 divided by 2 is of course 15. 2 times 7 is 14. 30 minus 1 is 29. That is why we have here our next step. So what we are going to do next is we will multiply 29 and 5. So we have 145. So what we are going to do next is we will add 14 plus 145. That would give us S sub 30 is equal to 15 multiplied by 159. Multiplying this, of course, that would give us S sub 30 is equal to 2,385. Meaning to say, this 2,385 is the sum of the first 30 terms in this sequence. Now, if you have some question, please do write it in the comment section. I will be happy to answer them all. Example number three. How many terms of the sequence? 10, 14, 18, 22, 26, and so on and so forth will yield a sum of 960. In this problem, we are asked to find how many terms in this sequence that the sum is 960? So based from the problem, the given are a sub 1 is 10 because the first term in the sequence is 10. The common difference is 4 because 14 minus 10 is 4. It will yield a sum of 960, so therefore our S sub n is equal to 960. So based from the sequence, the last term is not given. Therefore, we will make use of the second formula. Substituting what are the given or given from the problem, we have S sub n is 960 because that yield a sum of 960. So 960 we replace S sub n. Our n is unknown because we are asked how many terms are there in this sequence. Our A sub 1 is of course 10. Our n as n unknown. The common difference is 4. So what we are going to do here is we will multiply 2 times 960. After that, 
we will multiply 2 times 10 and we will distribute 4 to each term inside the parenthesis. 4 times negative 1 and after that, we will multiply 4 times n. That is why we have now an equation. 2 times 960 is of course 1920 is equal to n because we already multiply 2 by 960. So what is left is n. 2 times 10 is of course 20 and 4 times negative 1 was negative 4 and 4 times n is 4n. Now if you notice in this equation, 20 and negative 4 are similar terms. So what we are going to do is we add them but since they are of unlike sign, we will subtract them. So we have 1920 is equal to n, 4n, 20 minus 4 is 16. So after this, of course, we will distribute now n to each term inside the parenthesis. So n times 4n, n times 16. So we have 1920 is equal to 4n squared because n times 4n is 4n squared and n times 16 is 16n. So what we are going to do next is we will transpose 1920 to the other side so that it would be equated to 0. So we have 4n squared plus 16n minus 1000. 920 is equal to 0. Now since in our equation, 4, 16, and negative 1920 rather, is actually divisible by 4. So reducing this one, we have n squared plus 4n minus 480 is equal to 0. Now if you notice, we arrived with a quadratic equation. So what we are going to do here is, of course, we will factor this out as n minus 20 multiplied by n plus 24 is equal to 0. Why? Negative 20 times 24 is negative 480. Negative 20 plus 24, they are unlike sign, so we will subtract them. 24 minus 20 is, of course, 4. Now, after this, we will equate the factors to 0. So, we have n minus 20 equals 0, n plus 24 equals 0. So, we have n is 20 and n is negative 24 as you transpose them. So, if you notice, therefore, so there are 20 terms in this sequence for us to have 960 as the sum. So once again, we need 20 terms in this sequence for us to get 960. So guys, kung nagustuhan niyo po yung ating video tutorial ngayon, paki-like naman po at paki-share na din para yung iba may matutunan din tulad mo. At huwag mo din kalimutan mag-subscribe sa aking channel at paki-click na din ng notification bell para ma-update po kayo sa mga susunod kong mga video. Maraming maraming salamat po.